We continue our series of back to school reports with teachers at Elkhart's Roosevelt Elementary. They are wrapping up training on what's called a STEAM Academy, where the focus will be on science, technology, engineering, art, and math. As WSBT's Ed Ernstis reports, students will take a bigger role in guiding their education with hands on learning. Light and Teachers at Roosevelt Elementary were required to take 80 hours of instruction to help them transition to the STEAM Academy for the start of this school year. The Ethos Science Center is helping with the transition and instruction. A good deal of it involves inquiry-based teaching, where students are allowed to be more involved in their learning. That's different from the more traditional method involving memorization. That students are up, they're engaged, they're involved, they're asking questions, they're making observations, and they're just more actively involved. It involves students doing a lot of communication, writing, reading, and speaking about a lot of different things. The students come up with a lot of the questions themselves on things that they wonder about, things that they want to inquire or investigate on. The teacher really guides that, though. Getting kids to report, to do research, and then to present their research. And, that, and that's huge for kids, especially this age. Teachers here taking part in the training say they are very excited about the STEAM program and the potential it holds for students' education here and add they are looking forward to the first day of school this coming Friday. It really helps the kids take ownership and interest in what they're learning because they're the ones coming up with the ideas for the inquiries and for um, the big projects that we would do. I'm really excited about that aspect instead of just getting up in front of the class and lecturing. Um, they really get to interact more with their peers and learn from each other. And Ernst is WSBT Channel 22 News. Roosevelt will also be the first public school in the Elkhart School District required to wear uniforms. And